Hey, it's Chan with Drive to Lightning, the positively charged YouTube channel. We're talking about the Aptera solar charged electric vehicle. If you know this channel, you know we've been following this closely for a while. We've invested a small amount in the company. We're certainly looking forward to getting our Aptera solar charged EV. But what's been going on lately? It seems like there's kind of been like a lull there in information. Uh, the last thing we knew is that they had assembled one of the uh, production intent vehicles. This means this is the vehicle that has almost every single part that you'll have when it's in your driveway uh, made the same way. So one question a lot of us have though was, will they meet their target of producing a vehicle in 2025? Because that was the last thing we had hoped for is that they would be. Well, there's an interesting little caveat there. The California grant that they have is like a $21 million grant. It requires them to produce a vehicle uh, by February of 2026. So what that means is, yes, they're going to have to make one or several vehicles at the end of this year, at the latest, early, early next year. And uh, the idea is, from what Chris Anthony, the owner, said recently in an interview, that they may not be made in the way they plan to mass produce them going forward. They may be made more assembled by hand or or some other way and maybe not have a hundred percent of what will be the production parts but they will have to assemble these so that is really exciting news to know that it is actually coming another exciting development is the road trip that's coming up very soon they announced that they plan on taking one of these uh, assembled production intent vehicles around the country so people can see it it still amazes me how many people have invested way more money than me in this vehicle who have never seen it in person, never sat in it, never ridden in it. I've had the privilege of all those things. I took a nap in the back of the thing just to make sure uh, I've had that privilege, but so many people have it. And this is finally an opportunity for not just those people who have invested to see it, uh, which will be fantastic for those folks, but also how many people even really know about the Aptera Solar EV? I mean, really, if you're not really tuned in to the startup scene, the EV startup scene, or really tuned into green technologies and, and green energies and off the grid living, if you're not watching those spaces closely, you probably have never heard of the Aptera Solar Charge Electric Vehicle, which is a car that can charge itself with the sun up to 40 miles a day, may never need to be charged for some people. People like me that drive 100 miles or so a day, I'll certainly have to charge it. But when I do, I can get 400 miles on a charge, and that doesn't even count what I get from the sun. Right now, I'm sitting in the BMW i3. I get a good chunk over 100 on battery alone, then the range extender will give me another 100. My wife drives a Chevy Bolt 2022 EUV. She gets about two and a quarter, uh, 250. A lot of, she has a lot of city driving back and forth to work. Great range for that car, but for road trips, you know, you got to plug in and charge. And if you have an inexpensive EV, you're going to have slow charging speeds at DC fast chargers. Well, Aptera will have slow, slow charging speeds at DC fast chargers too. However, because it only takes a 40 kilowatt hour battery to go 400 miles, you're, it's still really faster than anything else because you're getting more, you're getting 100 miles of range in minutes, I guess. I don't know. But you're getting more for your time to miles output, if that makes any sense. The math might be sketchy. So those are a couple things we're really looking forward to soon. We know also, we don't know this from any person, but because we're watching what's going on, to be able to raise massive capital, Aptera is gonna have to have an initial public offering soon. I would imagine that that would come after the road trip either starts or ends, and maybe, maybe not. I'm not a, I'm not a financial guy, but it seems to me like if they can get a few of these actually on the road in the hands of customers, that that would go a long ways for those investing in a, in a you know, common stock. But that would open up the floodgates of who can invest in Aptera. Of course, anybody can, can buy uh, shares of stock now. So pretty cool stuff, great things ahead for the solar charged EV. We're looking to get somebody from the team on the channel for a Zoom interview pretty soon. And we have hopes, hopes now, hopes, and we haven't talked about this with Aptera, of sometime in October going to California. If nothing else, we're going to go swim with the sharks, you know, over there uh, in office close to San Diego. 
But while we're there, we would love to go back to Carlsbad and see what's going on in person. But well, more details to come, and we should know soon if that's locked in. Thank you for the members of the channel. You're the ones that keep the wheels churning on this, the Positively Charged YouTube channel. We appreciate everybody for the way you've supported us through the years. You're amazing people, and uh, you're all way above average. You're all very attractive people, and no doubt everybody likes you. Here's another video you can watch right here. Actually, not one of our videos. And maybe you've seen it, but this is where Aptera Owners Club Steve interviews Chris Anthony, co-CEO of Aptera. I thought there was some interesting information in there, something worth, you know, Steve asked some tough questions, but maybe check that out. You might enjoy it. I think you will. Probably already saw it. Have a great day. Bye.